Okay, so I just wanted to show um, what I was doing with this barometer and pressure sensor. Um, I'd said in the mailbag video that this was a BMP slash BME. It turns out this is actually a, the BME sensor. There is also a BMP sensor, and that's a different one. Um, and you can see in this uh, board, there's two white squares and only one of well and neither of them is marked but what should be marked is the BME square right sort of there um, and that would tell me that this device is the BME device instead of the BMP device and the BME device has humidity uh, as well as barometric pressure and temperature and I've just wired I've soldered a little header on um, and I've wired this up uh, so you have um, plus and minus over here and then this is SCL and SDA and those go to uh, D1 and D2 uh, and you can see that D1 is S clock and uh, D2 is SDA and these are GPIO pins 5 for D1 and GPIO pin 4 for D2 um, it's just how the pin mapping is work out. And that's the default position for the wire library. Although you can change it, but using the default position is far the, e the easiest. So that's the whole wiring setup. Um, and uh, then I'll just jump to the Arduino side. So I've loaded um, the BME library, and I did actually try this with the BMP library, and it didn't work. So um, if you go down here for the BME library here and load the BME 280 test, um, I'll just enlarge this a little bit. Uh, here you can see we just are starting up serial, beginning the BME, and uh, basically printing out temperature, pressure, uh, estimated altitude based on pressure and humidity and we do that once every two seconds. Um, this isn't going to work uh, as is for this particular module because the default um, address of this module is different um, than they expect it to be in the Adafruit library. So you have to write 0x76 in there because that's the uh, that's the address that this particular one takes. And uh, that's in the bme.begin line. It used to be that you had to edit the headers um, in the library. Uh, you don't have to do that anymore because they've exposed it as an option on the begin. So you can just pass that through. So I have everything set up now to push to this ESP8266. Um, so I'll just uh, upload the code. and then I'm going to open a serial monitor. Um, and one of the things that's true with the ESP8266, I don't think this demo was really written for it, um, but 9600 now. Um, but the, it does get itself into a watchdog timeout every now and then. Um, but you can see here we're getting uh, information from that. And if I put my finger on top of it, and it doesn't crash, the uh, temperature should be going up. So we're at 26 and rising, and this is degrees C. Um, and also the humidity rose. If I take my finger off, for some reason also triggered the reset. Um, humidity is down. But if I was to blow on it, Yeah, so what we're seeing here is the watchdog timeouts happens every now and then, and then uh, it just it kind of kills our measurement. So what I'm going to do is throw some yields in in that and uh, see if we can improve the situation here at all. This is just because the 
ESP8266 has uh, Wi-Fi interrupts it has to service. So um, basically, after every read, I'm going to do a yield. It's just like that. Upload. All right, that seems to be a little more stable. Oh, obviously not. So it does work, but it does have some stability issues. Um, and you can see we are getting barometric pressure and uh, some sort of an altitude reading. Which is, it's interesting, I, I don't have the setup to show you right now, but I did t bring the whole setup up and down. Well, I'll just do that. If I put it higher, 361 on the altitude there. Um, and if I bring it back down, we go back closer to... 360. So that, that altitude is fairly accurate, um, even just, you know, to about a meter. Uh, so it's jumping around, but that's pretty good. It's pretty neat. So that's the BME 280. Um, and that's how you connect it up to and use it from NESP 8266. Alright, uh, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Um, Leave in a comment to tell me what you'd like me to do in the future. I have some LoRa videos hopefully coming up soon when the chips arrive. Um, looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.